I owe you an apology. I wrongly interpreted the diner results I received in my truck and then also wrongly compared them to a different dyno number for a high output thinking that my truck made more power when in fact it does not. Yes, I, I had made a short a while ago kind of piggybacking on one that Dark Iron Diesel made, basically taking his high output dyno number and then comparing my dyno number to it and I made a few mistakes. So I'm going to detail those here. I wanna say up front, I appreciate all the people who pointed that out to me and called me out. It's not my goal to spread misinformation, but I think I just got a little bit too excited by the fact that the dyno said that I made 440 horsepower and then took that to the bank and started comparing it to other dynos, which is like a big no-no. And it's not to mention just incorrect because the dynos are in different places, meaning they have different atmospheric conditions. They're different dynos, so they, they read the horsepower output in different ways. And on top of that, it's like a completely different day. And so you really can't compare dyno numbers unless it's the same dyno and the same day. And I really didn't know that. I think I was just too excited. And so that's my fault, but I won't do it again. How did I get that large number? Well, the dyno jet and, and most dynos, right, have what's called a correction factor. So that is a number it multiplies the dyno output by to correct for atmospheric conditions. Think like humidity, oxygen level, temperature, things like that, right? And so the dyno jet correction factor is accurate. It's used by the American Society for Automotive Engineers. It's used by NASCAR. Like this is, the dyno jet is a very accurate dyno, meaning it's very consistent. You can put a car on it and it's going to get the same reading over and over. You don't need to calibrate it. But the correction factor does give it what some people might call inflated horsepower numbers because when you compare it to a non-dyno jet, the number will be a lot higher, specifically for turbos. I didn't know about this until I actually went and asked the guy I use for my dyno, Bear Lynch, who owns Dyno Pro in Denver. And he said, well, the thing with turbo engines is that they perform much better at elevation. So we're in Denver right now, right? A mile above sea level. Boosted engines with turbos perform much better at elevation than naturally aspirated engines or supercharged engines. And so what that means is when you apply the correction factor to a turbo, uh, a boosted engine that has a turbo, it's going to give you a much higher horsepower number because the, the turbo is going to lose the least amount of horsepower out of those three different engine types. The naturally aspirated, the, the supercharged, and the turbocharged. The turbocharged will lose the least amount of horsepower. So the correction factor helps and inflates the turbo horsepower number the most. Now what I should have done is taken the uncorrected horsepower number. So that's just the power output of the truck on the wheels, at the wheels, on the dyno, on that day, not corrected for atmospheric conditions. So I would be really curious to run my truck at sea level and see what I get with an uncorrected number, right? And see if that uncorrected number is a lot higher or if it's similar or whatever. Like I'm really curious if I went, you know, to California or New Jersey near the ocean and I put my truck on a dyno jet, what is it gonna make for wheel horsepower given that I'm not a mile above sea level? Um, and it, it, there might be a big difference, there might not be. I don't know because, I, again, I don't have any access to any other 2019 Power Stroke dyno jet numbers. So I would have to go to that place and find the dyno. But I wanna keep this video short because it is basically me retracting what I had said about my truck making more horsepower than a high output. A high output makes a hell of a lot more horsepower than my 2019 does, even with air mods. I may be able to change that with tuning I think a lot of folks could probably change that with tuning, but as it sits with just air upgrades, my truck does not make anywhere near the power numbers of a high output or even a 2020. I just ran a subscriber's truck. He completely stocked 2020, has 35 inch tires, very similar kind of wheel and tire setup, has the 10 speed transmission. 
that truck made uncorrected 429 wheel horsepower, which is crazy. I think that 10 speed transmission just helps a ton. Yeah, I, I wanna really apologize to you. I, again, it's never my intention to mislead. I think I just got a little bit too excited that my truck was making these crazy power numbers and didn't fully understand the uh, correction factor on the dyno and how that applied to turbo engines versus naturally aspirated and uh, supercharged. Thank you for watching this video and Again, I'm sorry to have claimed that a 2019 could make more than a high output. It was a pretty ignorant thing to do, but we have learned what the truth is. And if you are the owner of a high output and you're willing to put your truck on the dyno, I'm happy to pay for your session. So definitely reach out to me either in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram. Thank you.